Good morning. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen, Christ, have mercy. Declaration of Faith. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. <clears throat> Today's scripture reading for April 14th, Psalm 22, verse 1. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? From the words of my groaning. A reading from Ecclesiasticus, chapter 3, verses 1 through 13. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silent, and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put the sense of the past and the future into their minds, yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in their toil. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> A reading according to Luke, chapter 12, verses 15 through 21. And he said to them, take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions, then he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly. And he thought to himself, excuse me, what should I do? For I have no place to store my crops. 
Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich towards God. <laughs> Today's meditation by Kathy Hutchin. Your love comes to me in the silence, ordinary. Like a child's treasure, I turn it over in the nook of my hand, warning its smooth heaviness. A thought of you, stony, clearly defined, drops as though down a well, down a deep well, is lost momentarily then turns up a certainly in the heart. Prayers for others. <clears throat> Christ as a light, illume and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me. Christ over me, Christ beside me, on my left and my right, this day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful, be in the heart of each other whom I speak, in whom of each who speaks unto me, this day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. Christ, surround Paul, Kathy, Anthony, Matthew, Heather, Jeff, Alex, Gabby, Kyrie, Crystal, Ron, Dave, Judy, Sarah and Ben, Mary and Gwyneth, Ozzy, Malcolm, Steve and Denise, Ken and Doris, John, Dee, Vanessa, Karina, Daryl, Janet, Michael, Tammy, Don, Suzanne, Jackie, Candy, and Duane, Bill, Gay, Todd, and Joe, Ron and Bernadine, Barbara, Kira, Aiden, and Cassidy, Dave and Christine, Christopher and Bradley, Steve and Leah, Kyle, George and Valerie, Marianne, April, Tanya and Joey, Doug, Herman and Helen, Shirley, John and Tara, Kathy, Anna, Keegan, Nancy, Betty and Lynn, Kim, Skyler, Maurice, Mary and Earl, Carolyn, Annie, Timothy, Vicki, <clears throat> Vivian, Bill, Christy, Kelly, Dick, Erica, Dom, and Allie. The Daughters of the King, Beacon Health Systems, 
St. Joe Medical Regional Center, Carl and Broadway, Jay and Tracy, Karen and Brian, New Happenings Ministry, Sunita and Bishop Tremble, Rick, Deb, Ricky, Gabby, Kim, Alyssa, Dwight, Art, Betty, Dennis and Janet, Dorothy, Roger, Craig and Mary, Jerry and Sharon, Nancy, Ron and Fran, Dave and Vanjie, Sandy, Dave, Ron, Carl and Camelia, Wanda, Tom and Maria, Barb, Joe, Jennifer, Art and Dini, Mary Carol, Norm and Shirley, Lachelle, Jen, Cheryl, Shirley, Tom and Fran, Bill and John, Bud. Daryl and Judy, Pivey, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The blessing. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into your doors. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.